Hey guys, welcome to the video. What is Spring Boot exactly about? With some demos, I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. In details, I'd like to share with you what Spring Boot is about and its key features. Then I will demo a Spring Boot project to help you understand its key concepts and features. And finally, what Spring Boot is not about. So you know, Spring Boot is a project of the Spring platform, the world's most popular Java framework. And Spring Boot is the way that helps developers get started with Spring Framework with a minimum effort, easier and more convenient. And Spring Boot makes it easy to create standalone and production with Spring based applications. And developers use Spring Boot to save time and increase productivity. And here are the key features of uh, Spring Boot. We can use uh, Spring Boot to create uh, standalone Spring applications with embedded server such as uh, Tomcat, ZT, or Undertow. No need to deploy world files. And we can use uh, starter dependencies to simplify dependency configuration. And uh, Spring Boot uh, provides automatic configuration of uh, Spring Framework and third-party libraries. And it also provides uh, production-ready features such as metrics, hard checks, externalized configuration and using Spring Boot uh, no code uh, generation and no XML configuration required. Now I'd like to show you a Spring Boot project of mine to help you understand the key features and concepts in uh, Spring Boot. You see I have uh, three Spring Boot projects in my IDE, uh, Spring 2 Suite IDE. And this is a Maven project file from .xml. And for a typical Spring Boot project, we need to declare the parent project is uh, Spring Boot starter parent and the uh, version number of uh, Spring Boot here, you see. And then in the project, uh, we can declare the dependencies uh, we want to use. Uh, here you can see I used uh, Spring Boot starter web, uh, Spring Boot starter security, uh, Spring Boot starter time lift, uh, MySQL connector Java, and so on. And you can see I don't have to specify the versions of these uh, dependencies, uh, of these uh, starter dependencies. So you can see it greatly simplifies the dependency management and uh, configuration. Of course, uh, if I want, I can specify uh, versions for the dependencies. If I want, here you see. But uh, almost I don't have to specify the uh, versions of uh, the dependencies as the starter, uh, Spring Boot starter parent uh, configures the versions uh, behind the scene. Okay. And you can see in the project, uh, no XML configuration, no code uh, generation. And this is uh, uh, Spring application uh, configuration file. It uh, specifies the server port number, context part, uh, Spring data source, URL, username, password, Hibernate, JPA properties, and so on. Uh, so uh, that's uh, the feature of starter dependencies in uh, Spring Boot project. And I also have another uh, POM XML file here in which I use uh, Spring Boot Dev Tools. Uh, Spring Boot Starter Mail, uh, Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Clan, and so on. And here are the jar files uh, that are managed by Maven here, you see. You see, lots of jar files uh, for this uh, Spring Boot project. Now I'm going to run this uh, Spring Boot project. So start the Shop Me Front End uh, application here, and you see by default, uh, Spring Boot application is a standalone application uh, with uh, embedded Tomcat server. You see uh, the application has started successfully. You see uh, various uh, logging in the console here, and you can see Tomcat started on port number eighty, HTTP. Uh, with context part slash swap me. You see, that means uh, this application is using embedded uh, version of Tomcat. So it is very convenient. Uh, I don't have to um, set up and install an instance of um, Apache Tomcat uh, externally. I just run the project and it uh, starts an embedded uh, version of Tomcat. 
and now let me access the application in browser here shop me you see this website is uh, developed uh, by using uh, spring boot and let me see a uh, category of products here few uh, product details you see uh, very uh, cool very uh, nice right and you see the output in the console here okay let me stop uh, the application that means uh, stop the embedded Tomcat server and if you uh, backlist the project using Maven here uh, Maven uh, sorry run as uh, Maven build and I specify the goal is uh, backlist run Okay, build success, and you can see uh, building ja. You see, so this uh, Spring Boot uh, project is uh, packaged to an executable jar file. You see the jar file here. That means it is a standalone Java application with embedded Tomcat server. So it's very convenient. We don't have to install, set up, and configure uh, Apache Tomcat uh, externally. And also in this uh, Spring Boot project, uh, it's a uh, web-based application. So I use uh, Spring MVC. As you can see here, it is a handler method. And I use uh, Tanvif as the view template engine. But you see, I don't have to uh, configure Tanvif template engine. I don't have to configure uh, Spring MVC view resolver because uh, Spring Boot uh, configures the template engine and view reserver automatically so I just uh, put the code and run I don't have to uh, configure so it is very convenient and save a lot of time in uh, configuring the project and uh, Spring Boot is also flexible uh, if I want to configure Spring MVC I can write Java code to uh, configure uh, Spring MVC in a Java class here. You see MVC config. Uh, let me show you the MVC config in another project here. MVC config. You see I uh, already uh, command the code. And uh, in this project, I also use uh, Spring security for authentication and authorization. As you can see, the dependency uh, Spring uh, Security here, Spring Boot Starter Security, and uh, Spring Boot uh, automatically configures uh, Spring Security. So I just need to um, uh, provide configuration in a Java class. Uh, here you see Web uh, Security Config. So it is a very um, easy and convenient to get started with uh, Spring Security in Spring Boot. And in this project, I am using uh, Spring Boot uh, Spring Actuator. Uh, here you see the dependency Spring Boot Starter Actuator that provides uh, features such as metrics and health checks uh, for monitoring the application. Okay, let me start uh, the application again to show you the how checks and metrics of the application with uh, Spring Boot uh, Actuator. Okay, so come back to the browser and with uh, uh, Spring Actuator activated, I can view the metric and how check of the application like this uh, Actuator and slash. Um, Halt, and you see it uh, returns a JSON document uh, indicating the status of the application up here, yeah, uh, meaning that the application is up and running. And uh, info, no info, and means that uh, list all the uh, configure means uh, of the application. You see, it returns a JSON document. 
and in the project I configure the exposure of the matrix here you see how info bins matrix environment variables sessions let me try uh, environment variable you see let me use uh, postman program so you can see nice uh, response here paste the url in postman here send and you see a nice uh, response uh, formatted JSON document here it uh, displays it uh, sends the environment variables of the application you see server part you see system properties here and let me try to enter bins here yeah, to see all the uh, loaded uh, bins in the application here you see so very convenient for monitoring the application so that's the feature of uh, health checks and metrics of uh, Spring Boot and what is uh, Spring Boot not about you know Spring Boot is not a replacement of Spring Framework is a set of libraries and APIs that make uh, Spring development much easier for developers and Spring Boot is not the only way to create a Spring based applications you can develop a Spring based applications without Spring Boot but more powerful that's great right so I hope you have understood uh, what a Spring Boot is exactly about with some key information and uh, demos Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.